Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be making Chelsea buns. If you don't know what Chelsea buns are, they're essentially the British version of a cinnamon roll with orange zest and cinnamon and spices and sultanas. Let's get in let's get into the recipe. You'll need the ingredients you'll need will be flour, salt, yeast, an egg, and melted butter and milk. For the filling, you'll need um, orange zest, brown sugar, cinnamon, and allspice, sultanas, butter, and some oil so, the, so it doesn't stick to the bowl or get dried out. Let's begin, shall we? Now the flour, salt, and yeast. Make sure the yeast doesn't the yeast is on the other side of the bowl and it doesn't touch the salt. If not, it will kill your yeast and start over again essentially because your dough will not rise. Mix this together. It's fine when they're mixed. Make a well in the center. We're gonna add the melted butter and flour. And flour. <laughs> butter and milk. This is body temperature, so put your finger in it and it's nice and warm. I'm gonna pop this in the bowl. Then the egg. And mix this until it forms a nice dough. Okay, so this has formed a nice sticky dough bowl. I have some extra flour to dust on the surface. Dust it liberally. And plop your dough on. Dust the top and your hands and start kneading. You have to knead it for about five minutes until it's nice and elastic. You could also do this with a mixer on a dough hook. I'm doing this by hand to show that you can make it even if you don't have a mixer. And it'll get sticky. Some more flour. Knead away. Okay, so this is nice and soft and kneaded. A nice fruit into a nice bowl. And then we're gonna put this in the same bowl you made the dough in. I have some oil here so it doesn't dry out. Put some on the bottom. Put the bowl inside. Make sure it's covered. Okay, we're gonna get a tea towel. And cover it. And put it in a warm place. You can put it in the microwave off or with the oven off, but with the light on. And we're gonna let it set we're gonna let it rise for about an hour, so you have an hour to relax, have a cup of tea, or do anything you like. <laughs> this is in the microwave now. Okay, so this dough has been proving for about an hour. Let's roll this out. Okay, so we're gonna punch the dough. This is the funnest part. <laughs> so nice and soft. You're gonna shape this into a rectangle with your, with your hands. And grab a rolling pin. Flour it so it doesn't stick. And also flour your dough. And roll this out into a big rectangle. Okay, 
So we're gonna add the butter and sprinkle this, drizzle this on top. This is not a diet food. <laughs> Spread it. I put the sugar on. This is brown sugar with cinnamon and oil spice. Sorry, mixed spice. And sprinkle this on top. You put the butter on first so the sugar sticks. Okay, I have a small orange here. I'm gonna just stir and zest it on top. Gives it a lovely orangey flavor and it smells so good too. Here I have some sultanas. They have they have been soaked in orange juice so they won't burn when you put them in the oven. Just sprinkle them on top. We're almost done here. Now we're gonna roll this up just like a like a Swiss roll. Make sure it's nice and tight. You could also actually pinch it closed so they won't unravel. Now we're gonna cut these, cut off the ends because this is just dough. And so they're nice and even, you're gonna score it. That is half, that in half, and half, and then half again. You don't have to be even. There we go. And just cut them. Okay, so these are nice and cut. We're gonna put them on this dish, which is lined with baking paper and space them out so they have room to grow. Okay, so these are ready. We're gonna cover them with a tea towel and let them proof for 30 minutes and then bake and finally have a Chelsea bun. <laughs> okay, so these have now proofed. They have doubled in size and we're gonna put them in the oven. It is set to 180 degrees Celsius, preheated and we're gonna bake it until they're nice and golden brown. Maybe about 20-25 minutes. Check them to make sure they don't burn. Okay, so here are the finished Chelsea buns. They've been in the oven and they're, they're cool. And they're ready. Let's give these a taste. They're so they're nice and soft, they're golden brown. So let's try to break it in half. Mm. <laughs> That's really good, it tastes like Christmas to me with the currants and the orange and cinnamon. They're really good. Make sure you make this. Leave a comment down below. Like the video, hit subscribe, and I'll see you again next week for another video. Bye-bye.